pre-season rolls on this afternoon. We're here at Red Hill uh, for uh, our third of seven pre-season friendlies. Uh, Red Hill were in the league of us last season, um, very narrowly missed out on the playoffs, and we'll be looking to go one further and look to be one of those teams in the in the promotion mix. So they'll be a very tough side today, but yeah, it should be a very exciting game for us today. We've got a lot of players here that are still trying to get fit and used to how we want to get to get playing. We had a great result against QPR. Um, academy side uh, last Saturday. There's been two great training sessions as well um, after that, so hopefully there's a, a lot more of that gelling and bonding that's happened and we should be in for a great game. Hello. Right, mate. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are we? Yeah, good, thanks. Good. Good afternoon, how are we? Good. Good. How are we? Good. 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 Uh, yeah, QBR was a good day, a uh, good day all round, I thought we played well, um, and along the way we scored some good goals, so yeah, happy with the way it went, no injuries and uh, here we're here today. It's another test, I think we cha changed a little bit in there, a few sort of changes in terms of positions and stuff, but more than the boys are more than capable, the, the good thing about this squad, we've got so many different players that can play different sort of in different sort of situations and different uh, formations and stuff so it's uh, yeah we're, we're lucky to have that but it'll be a good test for the boys today against a, a strong Red Hill side that were really competitive last year that give us a give us a good couple of games last year uh, you know they're, they're, they're a good side so for us it's just getting some more miles in the legs and a little bit more understanding on and off the ball and uh, just another step towards uh, the beginning of the season. Yeah going well like I say you know we're unscathed at the minute with injuries um, so everyone's looked after themselves everyone's looking good Let's go, uh, we're in a good place go. and yeah, we start to up it again now a bit more. This game's a bit more realistic to what to expect. So um, yeah, we'll see where we're at today. Uh, it's a horrible time of the year that players players will tell you it's, it's great to it's great to be back, but they've got to go through that sort of four to six weeks of, of hard graft. Uh, getting getting them back to sort of match fitness is is a must. But the boys, we're very very lucky with this squad. Most of the boys come back reasonably fit anyway. It's just uh, it's just ticking over and just making sure we're not overdoing it. Uh, and everything's uh, everything goes to plan, and and we do our stuff. Gibbo takes care of all that. We're very very lucky to have someone like him in that just takes care of that sort of whole fitness side and advises us what we can and can't do. And then we just concentrate on the on the other stuff, the football side. It's been alright actually. We've been obviously it's always hard with running and stuff like that. And but we've met some new really nice new lads that seem to fit in really well with the group and stuff. So I think yeah that's been a positive of pre-season so far. I'm on the bench today, so yeah, I think I'll be alright in terms of potentially coming on at half time and then seeing how we get on. But yeah, it'll be good to give it a watch and see how we all get on, really. Fond memories of here? Fond memories, yeah. Two yeah. goals last year and a 2 1 win, so yeah, happy days. You still think about the free kick? <laughs> <laughs> nah, not really. I mean, I watched it back a few times after, but not since. Uh, not since the injury. I tried to stay away from football, so. It's tough, like, give us good at uh, sort of generally. Blowing off the cobweb straight away and then getting us going, sort of thing. Um, not straight into into sort of ridiculous amount of running, but it's it's been stepped up this week and it's been tough this week. So um, feeling fitter than obviously a couple of weeks back, but we're not there yet. Got a long way to go. We've five more pre-season games, so um, yeah, plenty of time to get get to, to match fitness. Four or five changes today. Uh, we'll rotate the squad again to get them uh, minutes from the start. Um, trying to think who's who's coming in today. Max is in today. Uh, George is in today, uh, Kai's in today, Owen's in from the start, Duarte's in from the start. So, yeah, a few changes, but again, you know, where will we put out strong? Good energy, um, shape for us. It's uh, it's important that the new lads have come in. It's, it, obviously, we play a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 and it's uh, it's probably a formation that some of the new lads have not played before. So it's just un getting them to understand where they need to be with and without the ball, and 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 the work rate off it when we haven't got it, and uh, and when we have got it, sort of what areas to be in. So, but they're intelligent boys. It, it, it won't take them that long. I don't think any of them are looking out of place or looking looking a little bit lost. They've all come straight in and. Fitted in really well. Uh, no, just um, just hopefully you know we're picking up on little things that we want to do. We want to be a little bit more aggressive um, off the ball, so we worked on that a little bit over the last couple of sessions, and hopefully to see a little bit of that today. So Declan Rice said that he was playing really well for Arsenal this season because he had pancakes for the game. So last week I tried it, and um, <laughs> last week I tried it. it went nuggets. well, and I've done it again today. So we'll see. See if it pays off, but I'll let you know after the game. Come back in a minute. That's too much for you kicking in.
One more go, mate. Come here, Come here, Turn it on. Yeah, it's a bit of intelligence here. Never seen a bra before, Shay, man. Turn on, yeah. Not this big. You're just going to wrong, man. It's only seen Platty's one, isn't it? Easy. Yeah, I'm going to switch it. Wow. It's brilliant for me to get more mixed with Everyone good? Yeah. yeah. Rest good, like play around like 50, 55 minutes like each half. Yeah, so make sure we get more minutes because we're changing. What's that? Play 55 minutes each half? 50, 55, yeah. So, mate. Yeah. You're not doing on Just double check, that's what he said, shit, isn't it? Anything else to put me up on it, yeah? <laughs> Just asking. Yeah, that's cool. oh, you said asking training. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Yeah.
We're going to stay out. It's up to you, mate. Is that right? Yeah, I feel like we controlled it well enough. Just was it third game of pre-season, lacking that clinical edge, aren't we, at the moment? But it will come. We said we, yeah, nearly lost my shorts, but used to that enough. Well done then in patches. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was a good start, lively start. We just got just got to understand. Yeah, in the start, so it was nice and quick. But then we continue to be 100 miles an hour. Yeah, sometimes you just got to put your foot on it and then pass the ball a little bit. Yeah, we're forcing it too many times. All of a sudden, like we, w we all wanted to hit the weldy ball. Yeah, when we, all we just needed to do was just move the ball across the pitch, and then they would be blowing, and then it would have opened up even more for you. So, in terms of start, well done. Yeah, then it sort of just died off, and then it got like a bit predictable, moaning a little bit. Cut that out. Yeah, it's terrible. You're adults. Yeah, if you want to moan, go and play this level. Yeah, you want to be a big, big man. Yeah, take it and get on with it and get better. So when you're changing, have a little look around as you go in to see where your options are and what you can pick out. Um, in terms of up top, yeah, not bad. Uh, Shay, good movement. Uh, D, I need more in terms of holding up play. Yeah, it's gone under your foot a couple of times or it's come, come away from you a little bit. So I need better on that. As soon as it goes in, you have to react off them. Yeah, give them an option. I think there's one, I think Che got it. He's wrestling the feather for at least 10 seconds. And everyone's just run past him. And he's had nothing. But when we get going in the league and it's 100 miles an hour and it's a bit more physical, you're going to have to be brave in passing people the ball. Yeah, when they've got someone up their ass. I want you to pass the ball when they've got someone up their ass. But when you're passing the ball, I want two or three options off the ball. Yeah, not pass it and watch it. Or so let's see how he gets on want it into him and then I want to hear people want the ball yeah and then when you get the ball have another picture have an out from your full backs that's going to come it's only like three games in yeah in a couple of sessions so it will get better but just make sure we get pictures yeah what we're doing we look superior to them yeah we look superior to them it's just those little bits on the ball yeah can we be better can we be better off the ball really good defensively yeah sound um, we make changes it will be but Boys, go out and do some running, stay out because you may come back on for a few minutes. Uh, second half, we go Marcin, Jack go in at right back, uh, right steps, George stay on the left back, Cooks and Jackson will be the two, Daz and Joel will be um, the two, and then Shane Duarte up top. The rest of you boys, go out, get your running done, but you may come back on five, ten minutes. Well done, boys. Hey, well done. Well done. Pancakes, seriously. Watch this. <laughs> We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna edit that if I've had a bad game. Yeah, no. but, uh, we'll never do this again. It's a one off situation. <laughs> what kind of pancakes? Just like a shop bought? Uh, it was Homemade. Sainsbury's Warburton's. They're like the small little ones where you put them in the toaster. And and there's a bit of maple syrup and a bit of fruit. It was nice, mate. Really nice. Don't know. A few lads are getting on it now. We've got Jack, Ryan, Flatty. Um, I think that's it so far, but. I think there'll be a few more when the season starts. I hope it works. Yeah. Ask Jack what he's feeling. Is he liking the pancakes or not? He looks ready to go. He looks ready for the pancakes. That's what I say, Jack. So, game on. No. Pancakes. Pancakes. Oh, my God. Warburton, six pack. <laughs> Bosh, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Hold on. Don't get sucked in, Jules. That's it. Oh. Now you're the out, mate. Now you're the out. Good. There you go. Good. Unlucky. Unlucky. Stay there, Dad. Stay there. Give it, Dad. Give it, Dad. Give it.
Oh, 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 oh. oh, I've got to see the car out of the way. <laughs> Target's right. I don't mind it. And that is it. Tottenham Town held to a 0 0 draw here at Red Hill. Hello. Well done, boys. Well done, mate. All the best, yeah? All the best, mate. Good luck. Good luck. All the best, mate. All the best, mate. All the best, mate. Good luck. Just two seconds of time, yeah. Hey, off the ball, yeah, real good. Yeah, didn't give him a sniff. It was on them. They didn't have nothing. They had two shots, I think, from 30 yards. Off the ball, real good. Yeah, real good tempo to it. On the ball, didn't quite happen today. But it's a little wake up call as well. Yeah, not too negative because it's pre season, it's third one in. Yeah, little wake up call because it will be erratic. Yeah, you had it all your own way last year. Far from getting it this year. Far from getting it this year. And when you come on, yeah, and you've got roles to do, do your fing roles. Yeah, um, excellent JJ, but you just keep running forward all the time. Kills everything, kills everything, and there's a big gap. Playing with Cooks and you, Cooks, you need to put him alongside you. The closest you two got to each other today was most probably 30 yards. Yeah, it was like Sunday league. Like maybe down to me a little bit by not giving you instructions when you're coming on. And I thought I'd give you the rein to go on and just do your job. But it was Sunday league when you come on, the boys that come on. Yeah, thinking it's like a bit of a laugh, having a jolly up. Yeah, it's a little bit of a wake up call. But off the ball, excellent attitude, excellent. On the ball, million miles away from it. But it happens at times, yeah. But draw a line under that. Yeah, you do your jobs when you come on. Boys that come on, yeah, let's do your running. 10 minutes of it, box to box. Well done. Well done. Tuesday, well, Thursday, bad, yeah. Let's go. Minutes in the bank. Overall, a positive workout. I think we dominated the ball. We created some good chances at the end, but it, uh, it wasn't a spectacle. It felt a bit like I want it to be England group game from the from the Euro so far this tournament. Um, obviously, England play in the Euro 2024 final tomorrow. Hopefully, they can put on a better goal scoring display than what we just saw in front of us. Nil nil doesn't really tell the whole story. Final dominated, probably 90 plus percent possession, um, but just couldn't carve out the perfect chances. Maybe a good one for Flatman at the end. Warrington had a good one in the in the first half, Sanders looked busy when he when he came on, but on the whole, another positive workout. Boys will be encouraged by how much they can control possession and also how well they won the ball back when they were off the ball. But we roll on to next week, hopefully with England as champions. Farnham against Walton and Hersham at home tomorrow, when you're watching this on a Friday, tomorrow at the Memorial Ground. Another big crowd, we'll live stream it as well for all the world to see. We'll see you there.